everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a really fun pop-up card to show you and this is part of my Mother's Day series so I think it's going to be a popular one for Mother's Day. I got the idea from Natalia's Toolbox on YouTube. I've actually seen this for many, many years. It's kind of done the rounds before and I've always thought I've got to give it a go and people have asked me to do it as well. Even my mum's asked me and I finally got around to doing it. So for those of you that want to know what it is, it's this beautiful pop-up bouquet. And it is the easiest thing to do. I don't know why I've held back for so long because it really doesn't take too long. Obviously, if you start to heavily embellish and add all the leaves and all that kind of stuff, then yes, it does take a bit longer. But it's really, really fun to do. But one thing I wanted to do was have somewhere for my sentiment. I wanted the sentiment to pop up as well. So you'll see there that the sentiment, I've made a little pop up in the middle. And it just really just... I don't know, just brings it all together. I was playing around having the sentiment like up here and so on. It just didn't look right. And the good thing is as well is it does stand up because I think I've used the embossing folder when the leaves kind of, I don't know, they just kind of catch against it and it just holds itself really nicely. So I haven't decorated the front and I say this a lot when I do the pop up cards, keep the front very plain because it, it's, you know, it's only seen when they take it out of the envelope. But if you want inspiration on how to decorate the front, check out my scraps videos because all of those are brilliant and you have scraps left over. So check out the scraps video for inspiration on how to decorate the front if you want to or just leave it plain because it is, you know, to be displayed open like so. And then on the back, you've got your space to be able to stamp and write your message. So like I said, very easy to make. So let's get started. For the first card there, I used the papers here from, it was a Craft Perfect Tonic Studios pad, Blue Blossom. Now you want more of a paper. So that was 160 GSM and this is 150. Anything more than 160, you're, you're starting to creep into the cardstock. I always say around 180 to 200 is where you're really getting that cardstock. And because you start layering these all up and you've got to fold these to cut them, you really want to be working with a paper. So I pulled out that paper pad and then the paper posies. So it's such a lovely one. I've gone through already two packs in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 of this one. So hopefully you'll still be able to get hold of it and I will link in the description box to the products that I've used. So the embossing folder, I've used my wood slice. I just wanted something, I, I didn't want to just leave it plain white. I wanted to add some, you know, strength to the card. So I've just cut myself here. So this is a 6 by 6 card blank. So this is a piece of 12 by 6. Score along the 12 inch side at 6 inches. Or you can use a shop brought six by six. They tend to come in around five and seven eighths of an inch squared because they're cut from a piece of A4. You then want to cut yourself two pieces. If you want to do like me, then in the white. And those are five and three quarters squared. And those are what I've um, embossed with this one. And then I've stuck them down. OK, so get those down. And then you want to cut the same for a piece on the back. So this coral piece is five and three quarters squared. And the pattern piece on the front is five and three quarters squared. Stick them all down and this piece is four and a half by four and a half squared where I've stamped my message. And the sentiment there is from the Card Making Magic Verses and it's this one here. Someone special, someone kind, you're the one who comes to mind. Just to say a big thank you for all the lovely things you do. So that was a lovely one for Mother's Day. And then for the Mother's Day sentiment, I've taken it from this old Dovecraft and it was the occasions one. And I've just punched that and I'll give you the measurements for that in a moment. So that's all of the product. So first of all, to make the flower, you need to make seven individual flowers and those will all come from a piece of 12 well, I've done centimeters I don't know why <laughs> let me just have a look yeah so it's 12 centimeters or four and three quarters squared okay so once you've got that you want to really kind of work with a non-directional paper if you're using a pattern if you look on mine the patterns are quite subtle so although there's stripes there it doesn't really matter those have got hearts on but again you don't you wouldn't really know um, you know if they're upside down or not so just bear that in mind so you want to make sure that whatever pattern you want to be visible it's facing up as you start okay so first of all you're going to fold in half like so and the key with this is to make sure you really burnish all of your folds and then you're going to fold in half again like so Okay, then you're going to take, so you've got a diamond shape now and you've got your fold here on the right. Take that folded side across like this. Okay, and then fold that one behind. Okay, so you'll have 
something like this. Next, you want something to draw around. So I've used this low tack. It's my um, what you, masking. It's like post-it, but I, I use it for masking. So you want to take that and have the open side here on the left. So you've got the two kind of folded sides on the right. This here, if I give you the diameter, is one and a half. So you want something around that. And then I'm going to sit it in here and I'm going to bring it up as close to the the top of this sloped piece here as possible. And you want to make sure it goes over the edge on each side here. And then you're just going to draw around like so. OK, and this is when you've got to cut now through all these layers, which is why I was saying make sure you you know you use a paper because you want to make sure you can cut through. And you're just going to cut as neat as possible. Right the way around there. So I'm just removing the pencil mark. Now, if you want, you could then use that to draw and sit it on the next one and draw around so you know they're exactly the same. Or just sit that on each one. As long as you get it right up to the top, you want to make sure they're all the same. So you're going to repeat that now six more times because you need to have seven in total. Open it up. We now need to remove one of the petals. So any one, it doesn't matter. You're just going to cut down one of the score lines and then the one next to it and just remove that completely like so. Next, we're going to add some glue all on the left hand one there and then sit this one over the top and it will perfectly line up. Now you better fold the whole thing flat. So you'll now have six petals. So we've gone from eight to six. Then you want to decide if you want to add some more de detail in the centre. So I've cut this one here using my, it was one of the ones here, it was this one from my Funky Floral set because I just liked all of the petals that it had. So you want to fold this it's the same kind of way. So you want to fold it in half, then in half again, and then in half again. So we need to make those eight segments. You don't have to worry if it's not exact, but just make sure you've got eight folds. And then just open that up. And you're going to do the same. You're going to cut. Use my small scissors. You're going to cut one of those segments away. So let's find one that lines up with the petal. There we go. So just removing that and then add glue to the left hand segment and then sit that one over the top. So it's a bit harder to see on this one, but because I've showed you on the larger one, you're just doing exactly what you did on there and then fold that flat like so. And then I'm just going to pop some glue just a little bit on each side. And then you're just going to sit it right down because it have the same fold, have the same angle. So you can get that right in there and just let that attach itself. And then you'll have something that looks like this. Now you can put more stamen detail if you want, which I did do on this one. But what it has done is it's left a lot of bulk. I mean, you can see there that will go into one of my box envelopes now. You could add a spine to this as well if you wanted to, but I'm not going to add the stamen detail and then this is just going to a normal envelope. But if you want to get your pens out, you can get some glitter in there, use mirrored cardstock, you know, all kinds of things. It's up to you. But remember, you've still got to be able to fold it um, in half. So you've got those eight segments. So now that one is dry. OK, so you want to lay them out like this and you want to have them all facing up this way. Now I've got my strong orange colour running through the middle and then I've got the four lighter ones on the side. Now I've numbered these, I think it's going to be easier for you to follow me if I say like stick number six or number three and so on. Now we'll start with this top one here. So this top one will end up being one of the top or bottom ones in the card. So for example here, so it's going to be either this one or this one, because you can turn it that way as well if you haven't got a sentiment in it. So first of all, you want to add your glue and you're only adding it on the tip here on the end. You're not covering the whole petal. So cover number three and then lay number six over the top. OK, 
you want to make sure that the folds line up more than anything if it's slightly coming over the edges here you can kind of trim that and to be honest you won't really see it anyway Let's stick that one over the top there and then i'm going to add my glue over number one and i'm going to stick number five over that one and just give that a minute to dry Next, we're going to add glue over five, two and six and we're going to attach the middle one. So this is going to make the middle of the flower. So where I've got my sentiment. So eight, nine and ten are going to go over five, two and six. Again, just give that a minute to dry. Next, you're going to add your glue over ten and seven. And then you're going to stick the 12 and in fact, yeah, they both go on there. Just check in. Yeah, they do. They both go on there. So 12 and the blank. <laughs> like so. And then again, add your glue over four and eight. And stick the 11. So you should now have 11, 9 and 12 numbers facing you. Let that dry for a second. And then lastly, you're going to add your glue over 11, 9 and 12. And you're going to stick that last piece. And that's going to be the bottom petal or flower. Once you're happy that that's all dry, you can then open it up and you'll get your pop out flower there if you've got any white like i've got a bit there that i don't really like you can just go in and just kind of trim that like so that's better so then take your card bank and you want to sit this in the middle of the square and you want to make sure that this kind of um the open end here with this piece missing is facing the score line. Just go and try and get it in the middle there. And then you're just going to add your glue to the top of this one. Ignore that mine says these numbers because I don't know because I did write on the backs of them before and then got it wrong. So yours may be two. If it's two, then great. Then it is the right way up. <laughs> but you just want to make sure it's in the middle petal. OK, and then just close the card and let that stick and then just flip it over and then again just on the top of the middle one there and just close that up and just give that a minute to dry and now when you open it just hold those petals just in case they're still drying but you get that wonderful effect. I've, like I said, these are just so much fun. I think they're great to do with the children as well. You could do some really nice Easter, like bouquets and stuff. I think they'd look wonderful. So now I want to add the pop-up sentiment. So this is a piece of four by three eighths of an inch. And you just want to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So you've got four one inch sections. I'm trying to open mine up. There we go. Now, my sentiment has been stamped onto a two inch circle. OK, so you want something around that size. And what I'm going to do is cover. So you've got one, two, three, four. The second one, you want to cover that with your glue. OK, so just all in that second one down. And then you want to sit this so it covers the middle as, you know, equally. So it's running right through the middle there, but it's just sticking to the top half of the circle there and this end is open as well okay then fold that back so it's now in half and you're going to add your glue on there and on the back you don't have to go all the way up to the score line just slightly below that and we're, you're, you're going to stick this inside this one here so it, you know what i mean just stick it in kind of as close to the middle as you can get it and you'll see, you just want to get it as centered as possible because there's glue on the top and the bottom that's now going to stick in the middle of that flower let it dry cross your fingers and then we'll lift it in a moment 
And then once you're happy that's all secure, you'll see there your sentiment will pop out in the middle. Looks so sweet. So then I've got the all the green here. So you can see right now it kind of isn't staying open. It's like it's wanting to drop. And because I've got that embossed base, so I would recommend embossing the base. Then once you have the leaves, they will just kind of catch to it. I mean, it is kind of there, but I think it would eventually just close itself. So I think I want to do a slightly different arrangement. Because on this one, I've got them coming out. Because you have to, when you stick one down, just close it each time. So you can see on... So you've got your two here and then it's the ones next to it. That's where I stuck these and they will slide right under. So you want to make sure they've got that clearance. So stick one on and then try closing it. And if it closes fine, then use that then as a guide and like the height to stick the rest. These ones here don't move. They just kind of flatten. So, you you know, you can pretty much do what you want. So it's really on these side ones where you need to test where you're sticking the leaves. So what I'm going to do is for this one, I just feel like having a cluster of green here and then down here. So let's just have a little play around. So these ones I know I can kind of just stick. And, you know, they're going to be fine. And this is when it starts to really lift it. So whatever I do, I'm going to then kind of match it down the bottom here. Yeah, I've just decorated this, but I've taken that out. I'm hoping this is going to cover it. That I don't go so far down. I think looking at this one, I probably was about a quarter of an inch up. So I'm actually going to stick this one. You can see there where I'm kind of sticking it. Obviously, you don't want it popping out the top of the card. So I'm going to have to go down a little bit further. But it should just be right on the edge of the card yeah it's literally right up to the edge so that's your guide really for the sentiment it's right on the edge of the card there if you open it up you'll be able to pinch in between there just to really make sure that's secure it wasn't quite popping as much so i just brought it forward a little bit there you go loads better it sits right in the center so just come up yeah it's about a quarter of an inch up but just make sure you've done that four by three eighths of an inch folded it how i showed you Get your circle right up to the edge of the card. That's going to be the easiest way for you to make sure you get it right. But now it's a lot more centred. But there you have it. Really lovely pop-up bouquets. And I think they look gorgeous. So it will catch on something eventually. And I think the more you work them, they might just have to pull it open a little bit. But it will eventually just kind of stay there. But I think maybe I would have done the centres on the stamens there. I do like having these stamens in there so if you're happy to have a bit of bulk then I would add it because I think it's nice to give it a little bit more like I said it does just give it that bulk you'd have to pop it in a box envelope and I'll link them up here as well so I hope you've enjoyed this pop-up bouquet card from me today I'll link as much of this product that I've used as always in the description box below check out the other pop-up cards that are popping up now because you might want to watch them next because there's some other really nice floral designs that you might want to use for Mother's Day. And if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and then the notification bell next to it and then you'll be notified every time I upload something new. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.